Hello and welcome to Naya BMR in East Morling, Kent, southeast of England. My name is John Newsted, I'm Principal Soil Scientist at Delta T Devices and we're here today to talk to Dr Mark Else, Head of Crop Science and Production Systems. So hopefully we're going to learn a little bit about uh, um, the actual venue and where they've been achieving great results at the Water Efficient Technology Centre. So without further delay, over to you Mark. Thanks John. Um, so yes, just to really explain the sort of progress of research we've been doing over the last sort of 15-20 years on, on trying to optimise resource use efficiency in soft fruit production. So here in the UK now 95, probably higher, 95% uh, of fruit production is now in substrates. So, so there's been a gradual transition from soils into substrates over the last 15 years or so. Initially that was driven by the withdrawal of some chemicals that were needed to sterilise the soil to combat fungal pathogens. But of course growers quickly realised that there'd be an opportunity to schedule their crops more easily. Uh, the crops are at, at a decent height, so picking costs or picking is easier, so therefore costs are lower. And so over the last sort of 15 years now, all soft fruit production in the UK is currently grown in these substrate systems. So uh, 15 years ago when plants, strawberry plants were grown in the soil, um, the beds typically used to be 70 centimetres across, plants used to be 30 centimetres spaced, and perhaps double rows per bed. So typically a plant root system would have access to around 20, 21 litres of soil uh, that the roots would extract water and fertilisers from. So of course that, that was a very useful buffer. Um, so often in those days growers only used to typically irrigate perhaps once or twice a week. The aim was to apply 25 millimetres of, of water or an inch of water every week. And that was fine under those growing conditions for those yields. But of course now we've moved away from there. And so in this system, these plant roots have a volume of around 2.5 litres. So very limited volume to extract their water and fertilisers from. So of course this, this needs then a change in sensing. So this is the PR2 probe, Delta T PR2 probe. And this is what we used to use in the soil grown systems. We'd insert this into the soil. It has sensors at different depths here. So we could monitor changes in soil moisture content as they were occurring throughout the rooting zone. Now clearly this isn't appropriate for a, a substrate grown system. So we've gone from this sort of sensor uh, from soils into this sensor here, the Delta TSM 150T. So this sensor can sit within the substrate around the rooting zone and give us that real-time information. So uh, you've heard about the work we're doing here at the wet centre and as you, as you will have realised now the aim is to optimise resource use efficiency and, and fruit quality and shelf life and flavour. And of course uh, it's important we do that uh, amidst or in the context of climate change because we know that, that summers are going to be hotter and warmer, there's going to be less water available for intensive horticulture and so, so that's why we're really focusing on understanding how to use those resources more effectively. So for example here we have a rainwater harvesting system. We know we can combine rainwater harvesting with precision irrigation and that allows us then to improve our local water security. Uh, so that's one of the things we're very interested in. Of course uh, a key aim is to reduce uh, emissions to land, air and water uh, and so uh, that includes obviously fertilizers, water, um, greenhouse gas emissions and of course another key aim is to reduce waste. And so uh, we need to reduce waste during production, but also throughout the supply chain. And so these are sort of the major challenges that, that we're sort of facing at the moment. And the research we're doing here, of course, is uh, hopefully will have impact on the soft fruit industry, but it'll also be transferable to many other industries across the UK and around the world. But I should say what we need is a collaborative effort. We can't do this on ourselves. So we need to sort of integrate expertise from plant scientists like myself, from uh, software engineers, from, from uh, experts in artificial intelligence, uh, from modelers, from engineers, from climatologists and meteorologists, and also social scientists. We need to integrate all of those, all of that expertise in order to tackle some of these big challenges. And of course, that's exactly what we're doing here at the Wet Centre. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video.